everyone and welcome to the show it's local chat episode 182 joining me this week are two of our candidates uh it's gonna be incredible representing the left here in our in our in our uh, the woke left we've got ian gibson i'm here to protect innocent couches from horny men everywhere <laughs> and uh as far right as you can get uh from save data uh trying to <laughs> this i think delete immigrants is their uh their slogan uh it's it's zach uh, schneider i just fell out of a coconut tree and boy am i tired <laughs> oh, it's a good one boy am i tired <laughs> folks let's get right down to the issues so abort um, folks, we're here to talk about video <laughs> games. We're here to talk about God. all things fun uh, and not things crazy. Um, listen, we're all excited. We all have that energy. I, I was looking at couches right before the stream, and it's just like we're we're here. We're ready to go, um, mm -hmm. boys. Uh, we are collectively I doing. I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Sorry. Why don't we just couch this conversation? God. So I'm sorry, I cut you off for, for a B joke at best. Zach's, Zach's real hyped up. He's been having a lot of Diet Mountain Dews lately. <laughs> he <laughs> loves <laughs> Diet Mountain Dews. That's, um, fair. That's fair. You know, so far are... So far are... You guys ever <laughs> fucked a couch? Let's, just, let's, let's get the question out. You guys ever fucked a couch? Because I have not. But I'm I thinking about, about it. it. That's fair. <laughs> Damn it. I, I want to say technically... <laughs> But what does that not mean? Not on a couch. It has to be between cushions of a couch. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think See? that's the exact definition of fucking a couch, Will. <laughs> then I haven't I done think, that. <laughs> didn't the tweet have more? Didn't the tweet have more detail where it was like there was a process and an additional item? Well, there's usually and like the couch. like a Ziploc bag with some like olive oil in it. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's, it was something like that. Yeah, something like that. Mm, um, mm. Anyways, speaking of pasta, um, we're doing a Pokemon tourney in a couple oh of weeks. Boy. And yeah, uh, August third, three p.m. Uh, it'll be on um, the YouTube probably and Twitch. Um, yeah, both. We're gonna we're yeah. gonna dual stream it. I'm uh, saved over data. at Save Data. So, yeah, YouTube.com slash Save Data Team, Twitch.tv slash Save Data Team. Be excited. Uh, yeah, it's uh, six person tournament uh we've got every it's a monotype tournament i should say uh, a lot of people like those because it's like your your own gym leader and we've got one team of every single type going against each other uh which should be very exciting uh both me uh chris and carl from save data team as well as uh these two gentlemen and jake from subpixel uh yeah. will be competing which i'm very excited for we, yeah we, we, were, we were talking about, talking about in the pre-stream like it's true oh shit it's a lot of work it's, it's a lot, a lot of, work, of work. It's a lot um, of work. Th three monotype teams, especially so, for people that don't have a lot of Pokemon experience. <laughs> yesterday, after being called out uh, by the Save Data people that we weren't going to get our Pokemon teams in on time, I started oh, working on my fair, Pokemon that was team. Just Jason. Yeah, it was just Jason and company. Yeah. Um, and so I was working on my team, and I put together a Steel Team. And then yeah. I steal team steel six. Team six. <laughs> wow! Damn, oh I am God, there's six Pokemon. Wow. I am renaming that so good. immediately. <laughs> you do need to name it. Yeah, that's oh, really so good. good. I need to write that down. Uh, no, so I was putting together steel <laughs> team six, and uh, well, first Jason had to educate me on legendaries and what were legendaries, and that ultra beasts are legendaries Don't. and mythical pokemon which aren't part yeah, of legendaries bro. are also legendaries it so sucks i had a that nightmare of sucks. like <laughs> pulling guys out because i couldn't just be like arceus and like stuff like that yeah, uh -huh. and then of course every list on the on the google is the best pokemon including legendaries uh mm -hmm. for like different because i like would get a little bit of a guess like oh who's op and stuff like that uh, so then yeah. I, I, Jason sent his, the, some, me some notes. I saw that. I put together teams. Uh, and I was working on it. And he was like, hey, I'm kind of busy today, so I'll, I'll give you some notes later. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I go to bed. Wake up this morning. I have a message from Jason at like 2.30 in the morning. To, yeah. Oh, that's Jason. No, that's Jason. No. 2.30 in the morning saying, uh, all right, coaching vid is up. I was like, no. what? 
This yeah. man, a custom video, a thirty-eight minute video, what? going <laughs> over my steel picks, See? then like showing me two matches with my team that he played against other players, and then gave me like, oh, you should switch this guy, this guy out, and this other guy out. He's like, oh, I'm so glad you have this guy. This guy's great. Put him with this and like fixing moves. He's like, these are the moves I think I would go with, and I, my jaw hit the floor. I cannot believe he did that. And the description of the video says, hey man, just message me if you have any questions. I'm just like. <laughs> he wrote a custom description for yeah, you. I liked the video and it's commented. Wild. Um, uh, it was did beautiful. Did you subscribe though? Uh, yeah, I made sure to subscribe for sure. Um, so he was sending all this sorts of like... notes today. <laughs> This is like dangerously playing into to Jason's Pokemon obsession. It's like we were playing Armor yeah. Reforger the other night and I went off for like three minutes talking about the zero why the zero range of the AK seventy four is four hundred and forty millimeters by default. And I was like, Well, it's because you gotta aim at the belt buckle, but if you think about the trajectory and I went off for like three minutes to Will and other Zach, and then I was like, Sorry, I, I'm kind of into gun stuff and this and I, <laughs> I just had to talk it out for a bit because it's in the game, you know. I feel yeah, like it's you the started same thing with numbers Jason. and I was like, What? Yeah. And then I was like, why don't you just re-zero the weapon to zero? And he goes, Well, I like it at four forty. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I guess you could, but it does default to this, and it defaults to that because of blah 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 blah. blah. But I was like, yeah, That's yeah. Really I always aim for the belt, the belt buckle. Always aim belt for buckle. the belt buckle. Uh, so, anyways, shout out to Jason, doing an incredible job. Uh, he yeah. inspired me. I was putting together my my fire team six, uh, and uh, I was like, instead of immediately hitting, is it Smogan? Smogon? Button Smogon, yeah. to be like oh show me some builds i was like hunting the best, through the moves yeah. and like being like okay uh -huh. yeah so like and, and then i was like i was trying to pick moves for like each of the weaknesses for the things like to counteract mm -hmm. and everything and using advice uh from jason and it's you know i didn't think i'd be getting this into it it also it never occurred to me we were fighting the pokemon i was like oh <laughs> i just figured we would put them into like a computer generator and it would fight oh, them for oh, us. Gotcha, gotcha, I, gotcha, honestly, gotcha. I would fucking love that, to be honest with you. Like an auto battler. Yeah. We just I think, watch our Pokemon die in real time. Yeah, we're right. Us. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized I would have to play, and I was like, oh shit. Like now I have to remember how yeah. Pokemon works. That's uh, that's, mean, that's my problem right now. Is I feel like I have built some badass teams, mm -hmm. and then I went into pokemon showdown and i played like five matches and i won like two of them and i was like oh fuck now i have to actually like learn how to play the game and, and remember <laughs> yep. who has what moves and remember right. types." and i was like that's that's honestly that's my struggle right now is figuring out which charts i want to have on my screen so i can remember <laughs> type matchups and all that shit because i do not have that memorized i'm you know? i'm so worried about the stream because i'm going to be like producing it the whole time so like even when oh, i'm not fuck. competing in matches i'm gonna have to be like moving stuff around like on, <laughs> yeah. on the layouts and i'm like oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna be like so fucked on the day of because i'm gonna be like oh uh fuck what's what type uh, literally yeah. I, I did a match earlier today and i tried to use a fucking dragon move against a fairy and i was like i'm so fucking stupid and is that bad is yeah, that, yeah uh, it, it doesn't do any question. damage <laughs> I, see. Didn't know that I, I lost i lost that match and i was like ah suck yeah, I'm uh, Steel's immune to fairy, so yeah. whoever goes up oh against me, don't pick your fairy team to fight me. I, I will say, uh, this is my first time using Pokemon Showdown, and it's fucking wild that you have like a full bore, every single option, stat, etc. Pokemon game in your browser. It's the best. It's, like it's wild. Showdown has been around for genuinely over a decade, and it fucking rules and like even when a new yeah. generation comes out how fast they are like within a week they have new sprites for all of them all the moves are plugged in like whatever you want it's there and then people just go fucking hog wild and then figure out like oh this thing's too broken uh can we call it uber and then that becomes a whole thing but yeah 90 mm -hmm. percent of the time i think they're right being like this is busted this shouldn't be allowed to be used but uh, i get also mad because it's like, oh, you can use any legendary for the most part. And I'm like, well, fuck that. Like, why can't I use Blaziken? And they're like, well, Blaziken's just busted. So go fuck yourself. And yeah, they're not wrong. Fuck Blaziken. But fuck uh, Blaziken. Yeah. 
Be excited count. though. Uh, August August third, Saturday at seven or almost at seven thirty at, at three p.m. Eastern time. We'll still be um, on at seven thirty for sure. Pro- uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I actually not. think I, I think hope we'll not. be done. I hope I hope not too. We've talked about it, me and Jason. I think each match at most will take five minutes, and then it's only fifteen matches to get to the beginning, and then it'll be. Do Do you have turn timers? Uh, yeah, it's in showdown. I think it's what two minutes yeah. per I turn. I didn't play shot. Like I, 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 is it's, there? It's not two AI minutes per turn. Showdown? No, uh, it's not two minutes per turn. It's like a speed chess thing where it's like you have two oh, minutes total, total time. Yeah, oh. I think it's two and a half minutes total time. Uh, but it it it's yeah. very helpful because you can just be like, hey, stop fucking calculating shit with your TI eighty four Pokemon trainer. You know, TI eighty four Pokedex. Uh, th- there definitely is a thing of like, <laughs> no, it's just on the internet. I will fucking Google a TI-84 emulator if you're telling me that will help. I have a TI-84 uh, behind I me. I mean, there are Pokemon calculators to be like, hey, if I'm facing this guy and he's got oh, yeah. this, these IVs and I've got these IVs and I'm using this move and my nature gotcha. is this, like, I'm gonna it'll do one of exactly 84% of their health and you'll win the fight. And Nuzlockers do that, but. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. We're, just, we're just hanging out with the boys. We don't say that on this stream. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's offensive. That's fast and loose. Sorry, Save sorry. data. Yeah. Uh, you know anyways, us. geez, man. I'm sorry. I don't know how to recover from that. Um, we're no strangers yeah. to saying slur puffs. <laughs> That's a Pokemon. Slur. <laughs> it's a Pokemon's Pokemon name. name slur. There's, there's slur a Pokemon. Puff. So its name is two slurs? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good point there's there's a pokemon uh, name that i'm not allowed to say because the one time i tried to say it on stream i accidentally Jesus. said a slur uh, what the hell did what what pokemon it's i'm not gonna say it chat. but chris it's was like chris said chat. the name chris said the name and then i tried to say it immediately and it's so i somehow fucked it up so bad it was a slur and i was like oh my god ah, ah, i'm send sorry it, i don't send it in our I fucking have that video somewhere <laughs> I was just like, I didn't even know it. And then you guys were like, whoa. And I was like, why? What did I say? Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is maybe the most Ian shit I've ever heard. I, I didn't know it was a slur. I'm sorry. I say, no, the it's Pokemon like, it's like a question fu- it's like, was Zigzagoon. And, and the <laughs> words you said. How said, did you say it? The words you I'm said. I'm not going to say. Are, yeah, you should. Are nowhere near the the bad word you said. <laughs> what the It's fuck? the complete it like, opposite side. And it's not a common one either. It's like the, what did, um, what did John Travolta say? Adina Menzel. He like, he like Adele fucked Jean. it up. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those where you're like, first time you see it and you, or you hear it and you're just trying to like immediately get through it and you just fuck it up really badly. Yeah. It was one of those. Um, I, I think I've told this story, but I was walking to get ice cream with George, uh, and we were walking oh, down the street guy. and he was trying to say he doesn't speak a lick of. But he kept saying a slur for a certain type of people that rhymes with some of those words. And he was just like mumbling, saying it multiple times, trying to say, correctly say, <laughs> trying to speak get it a out. lick of. And I go, George, was that a oh. hate crime? Do I, oh, have to, do, I to like, do I have to like call someone about this? Like, I, are you I okay? Oh, okay. And I he was like, oh, like, I'm so sorry. I had to think for like 20 fucking seconds be like, what slur was he even s- uh, Yeah, And it was just like saying God. it out loud, but, but he was just m- stumbling on the words, and I was like George, yeah. anyone here would think you were just yelling at someone or me. <laughs> it was Christ. so funny. I felt so bad yeah. for him, because he was just like he was like trying to stop himself. <laughs> we, we've talked funny. about it before how there is something inherently funny about accidental racism. Like when you're playing an RTS or building game and you really get into it and then you zoom out and you go, Oh shit, I accidentally built a swastika with my walls. Oh, oh, oh." and then you have to like undo it because the layout was, was (laughs) offensive. You're like, Oh fuck. How often does that Uh, happen to you? Go take a look at Jake city's designs on the discord. And you'll no. you can see him right away. Your eyes will no. always, always and d- go. Dwarf to Fortress, you're like you're like hallways <laughs> and bedrooms, and I got I got a maximum. And you're like, oh shit, you know. No, it, it happens. <laughs> no. It happens. Oh, uh, yeah, it's um, it's wild. 
absolutely wild. Well, I feel like that's been enough chit chat. That's probably the longest chit chat section we've had since when Chris does his Would You Rather three weeks ago. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, those are crazy. Um, we did also, uh, sorry, not to continue to chit-chat, we did also find out the last time Zach was on the show was over two years ago. Um, That's, I mean, it, it does feel crazy, but it all, like I said, it, it, it feels about right. Like It's about the time we became successful, so we try not to like... But you guys are successful? Yeah, big ups to Save Data. Guys, go over to Save Data, give them some views, they yeah, need it. they need it. <laughs> well, we, we're going to raid you guys. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, shit. We got to start a stream after this. Yeah, make sure you've got the Ace Attorney ready to go. Um, video games, folks. Video Always games. Uh, Zach, I want to hear about the game you've been playing. Because yeah. Yeah, is this is a hentai game. This is an H game. I, I thought wish. it was. So, uh, Kunitsugami, I believe it's pronounced. Uh -huh. Path of the Kunitsugami, Goddess. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. I thought this was a Neo Wu. Wukong? Mm -hmm. Wukong? Oh, Wukong. The game with the sexist oh. creators? The game the with the Monkey King. King. Yeah. And then yeah, the yeah, other yeah. ones like that in like the Neo and Neo 2 type brand. I thought it was oh, that type yeah, of yeah. game. Oh, like a Team Ninja ass game. Yeah. Yeah. And I, um, yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's so. Uh, what interested me in the game at first is I saw a preview, like, like you know, see, seen a few trailers, and I was like, the art style looks interesting. I don't know what the fuck the gameplay is, but, like, sure. I, I you know, I'm a nerd. I like Japan, like, like historical Japan settings for things. What's up with that? Uh, and then uh, some of the previews were like, hey, it's kind of like P Pikmin meets Okami. And I was like, okay, that's a really interesting combination. And... I don't think it's quite the perfect like comparison of two games. Uh, I think it's more of a Pikmin meets uh, Dark Cloud, but nobody's fucking played Dark Cloud, so I get why they said what they said. Um, basically, hey, it's very like historical Japanese bullshit. Uh, you're purifying a mountain that's been corrupted with like demons and yokai and whatnot. But every match or every level is like, hey, you drop in, you're playing as this like samurai guy you've got this shrine maiden and her goal is to walk to the end of the level and do her purifying dance and that wins you the level like it it prevents the enemies from spawning at their like spawn camp how that happens though is like you get dropped into what is like a town and there's a bunch of like areas that you have to go purify and as you purify them you're getting crystals which you can use to 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 do things and you're unlocking like villagers who have been like in Kate, like cocooned oh. in demon corruption. And then it's like, okay, I just freed this guy. I'm going to make him an archer. Okay. I just freed this guy. He's going to be like my frontline soldier to block the, the demons. Cause once oh, it's it, a MOBA. I, honestly. Yeah. It, it, it's like a MOBA, <laughs> like a mobile uh, reverse tower defense type. It, yes. Yes. It, that's exactly. It's a reverse tower defense game. Um, where you, cool. your person has to go, the, the shrine maiden has to go down this path. And you can like choose different paths in some of the later levels. Uh, it'll be like, hey, you can go this way. And there's like less uh, things to protect her that are built into the level, but it's shorter. So maybe you just like risk it to try and get there before like two nights. Cause, cause it's a day and night cycle. The daytime, you've got like eight in game minutes to like prep for the demons to come after her. And then after that, it's like, okay, you've got eight in-game minutes of fighting waves of waves of waves of enemies, and you have to uh -huh. position your guys, and also you get to run around and attack and take them out, and you're, like, crazy strong. But your, your jabronis that you put, put on the map are actually pretty good at being able to take down things. Um, and then once you do that, uh, you, like, save that town or whatever, so then you can before between every mission, you can go to a town and like order the people there to like rebuild the city. And as they rebuild the city, you unlock more points to help the skill trees of your villagers for later missions. It's really good. Uh, yeah. David points out it's it's on Game Pass, too, which like that's that's oh. the best endorsement I have for it uh, is that. But like we 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 got it from Capcom because uh, uh, 
Capcom's cool with us, like because we do Ace Attorney, they they send us games. Oh, well, fucking um, course! Oh, fucking <laughs> yeah, the rich I was get richer. Like, back of my head, I was like, I was like, how do they do that? Oh, it's because they jerk off Phoenix Wright three times yeah, a week. That's yeah, why. Yeah. The guy did January sixth. <laughs> <laughs> do you think no, Phoenix Wright was at true. January sixth? I we think he was there, there was but proof. he was there to like. It was like they're solving a crime. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's what Who he shot does. Ashley Babbitt. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you know the name and everything. Um, <laughs> damn, it's a real person that died. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up. Oh, yeah, they kind of deserved it though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You're, you know, yeah, I will neither confirm nor deny that sentiment. Um, I'll confirm it. <laughs> Kill confirmed. Uh, moving but, on. Kill confirmed. <laughs> it's 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 really good. Uh, it, it feels like a PlayStation Three game. It looks pretty, but it feels like a PlayStation 3 game. And I mean that in the best sense of the word. Um, There are parts of it that were really frustrating, but like once you get through it, it's very like mindless and simple. It's a great podcast game. Uh, I've stopped playing Shadow of the Earth Tree to like enjoy this because it's it's just good. It's just really enjoyable. Shadow of the Earth Tree is great and I need to go back and finish it. But uh, it's a really great palette cleanser game. I want to try it now because I saw it was on Game Pass and I've been playing other games. But every time I see like the like icon with like girl in the picture or something like that i I always think Mm -hmm. it's like one of like third person uh action rpg from overseas because there's like a bunch of them and not that they're bad but there's just a bunch of them all the time yeah i i I I mean my 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 biggest knock is the combat is really simplistic you're you you have like five not even five you have four combos that you can do at most and it's just like hit x once and then hit y Hit X twice and then hit Y. Hit X three times and then hit Y. What wow, do you want to okay, do? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they but they each do different things, which is at least nice. And like I said, it's 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 the perfect level of like it's not a difficult like town builder. It's very simple. And the the but but the gameplay of like the tower defense part is genuinely like you got to be fast and it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty mm. fun to do. Yeah, yeah. I really but play I think. It now. We, we talked about this with First Descendant a little bit. I think Will's problem with the game is that it, it has sexy women in it, and uh, his wife does not let him be alone in a room with a female protagonist. Wow, so. just like Ninja. Absolutely not true. My favorite gamer, Ninja. Your favorite gamer? Yeah. Me too. Dude, sorry. Is, that, is, that on the, is that on the news for this week? Can we talk about the Ninja thing? Hey, it's, it's not. I can't believe that resurfaced today because he said that years ago and people shit on him for it. And he said it again today. What a fucking that's what I'm saying. Like, what a more I literally typed in the, the save the Discord card is like reset the counter on days when Ninja said something cringe. That's some fucking uh, like Sharia law shit. Like, that's <laughs> like it's like men can't be trusted. Men can't be trusted with women. So we have to impose limits on women. Yeah, he's like, he's like, like, he's like I'm, going off? I'm I'm a friend to women. So therefore, I don't associate with them ever because I don't want to get canceled. Off. And it's like, bro, maybe you just shouldn't do something cancelable in yeah, front of a woman. Yeah. Off. Sure. Do your- <laughs> Yeah, stop Louis C.K. in it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let him out of the hotel room. Man, we're off the rails tonight, aren't we? <laughs> we really are. Um, good. I want to play that. I'm glad time. I judged a book by its cover, and I have been pointed out that I was wrong and that I shouldn't. I it's should good. look also at the It works on Steam Deck if you like it. If you Ooh. Have a Steam Deck. Uh, like through Game Pass? or Oh, you have it through Steam. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. uh, right, Capcom right. sent us the game because we're you know pretty. Cool. Right. Did you play mouse and keyboard um, from Papa Cap? No, uh, when it when it, I mean, I played it on PC, but it it recommends the start to use a controller. Yeah, did Papa so Capcom like, also send a controller? No, they did not. Oh, they're not that good. To... I mean, they they did send us a huge package yeah. for Dragon's Dogma. I've got a yeah, get them numbers up. I've got yeah. a, a a fake book that looks like it was made in the Middle Ages. Uh, How do you know a it quill wasn't? pen? That's a good point. An actual potion. You want me to get the potion while you talk about? Can you drink games? the potion right yeah, now? It's it's a shame sure. you only play uh, Ace Attorney though on your streams. Uh, Thanks know, for Dragon's crazy. Dogma, but yeah, you know. yeah, you've been dragging. I mean, I played it. I played it once on stream. Didn't put it on our YouTube, but you know, Catcom's not watching. Played. Yeah, yeah sure. Once. More like Ace Attorney. We, yeah, we played it right. once. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ace Attorney. I mean, we started an award-winning series for Ace Attorney, and we gave it up. Sorry, we uh, did at the height of our career. Uh, well, we should just keep going, right? <laughs> We're not gonna wait for him. 
We should oh. find some other Capcom game yeah. and make that ours. <gasps> we should. We should find another Oscar Capcom Hunter. game. Resident Evil. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's the potion? My magical drink potion. It. Can you drink it? Actually, no, don't drink it. Super can't, but... Leave it. Leave it for the Pokemon stream. I feel like when you're at a desperate point in a battle, you should yeah, whip you that should out and it. drink it. I'd be cool as shit. It yeah. doesn't open, though? No, it's actually... It was a light. Like, you could twist the cap, and it will turn yeah. the light on. Uh, but oh. it, the, And there's the water died. in there, though? There's liquid in there. You still drink it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, you could drink like it. You're just refusing to on air. You could, you could yeah, because I think it would kill me. Um, <laughs> you, you think that, but are you a scientist? You hear that? You hear that, Capcom? This man's not dedicated enough for your gift yeah. packages. I'm afraid Dr. Fauci here might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he was in Resident <laughs> Evil, right? Yes, he was. <laughs> he was the big guy with the eye. He sent the woke no, T-virus. No. The woke T-virus. Uh, no, no, he was the, he was the dad from Seven. <laughs> wow, deep cut That's game. That's a good pull. Yeah, no, Seven rules. Did anyone ever call it the Mr. T-virus? I mod in all the zombies are Mr. T. Oh, I mean, if they did, so I'd pity good. the fool. Am I right, folks? Oh, man. I, oh. Oh. That'd be really good. Well, I'm glad oh. you're having fun with your reverse tower defense game. I have been having Thanks. fun with a regular tower defense game called Cataclysmo, uh, which came out uh, on the computer uh, that I play it on. It, just mine. Uh, the other day, um, I actually get it through Steam. We're we're pretty friendly with Steam, and they they let me pay for codes on there. Uh, and so uh, I've been playing Cataclysmo. It is a uh, tactical grid based game. I only played through the tutorial where it like taught me how to traverse the environment and its squares. And I moved my guy. Eventually, got to the city, and now the story is I'm at the city. There's these giant orbs of light that came down years ago and we built cities around them and then the monsters started appearing mm. and now we fight destiny. off the monsters um yes exactly like destiny uh and so <laughs> they're basically like hey uh put archers up high put these lobbers down lower and they can like throw stuff uh lower and then you have your lady iris who like can do you can like give her skills and stuff and i'm not at that point yet and then they give you this area out front and they're like hey build a fucking wall and so you're like okay and like Hell the yeah. more wall you stack the stronger it gets and it like visually gets stronger as well um mm. like you can see it like change color to the like next stage of stone wall uh and so like i built this stone fucking wall great stone I'll wall clip it. uh and uh put like wood uh, para uh parapets i don't know wood like scaffolding yeah. behind it and like set up these archer posts and all this cool stuff and then uh I killed a bunch of monsters. It's it's kind of like a lower scale. They are billions, uh, and who, who just are you like, trying? Who are you trying to keep out? You said monsters, like monsters from another land coming. <laughs> is this a Trump game? I think God is what I'm damn trying. It. To, I was like, I hope wall. Ian's not going this direction. <laughs> they're God like, damn it. to be, just... they're not. They're not humanoid. They're like, they kind of look like the Half Life. Oh. Um, <laughs> They're disgusting. <laughs> Wait, what what game is this? I got to um, go in It's Cataclysmo. They're like um they look like the little life half-life head crabs but bigger. Um oh, okay. and like other gross things. They almost look like forest creatures that were turned into gross disgusting things. Um, I like the art style. Though. This this is cool. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. It's fun. It seems to be like level based, so like you're not really mm. you're not building up like an R they are billions or an rts and then fighting you're just like going level to level and surviving mm -hmm. uh and they uh it's fun so far i am really only like 45 minutes into it um I, it just happened to come out the same day as another video game uh that i played that ian deleted off my list um, Whoa! it was never on your list never censored. saw it on your list it's been Whoa. redacted censored but i'm not going to talk been about redacted. it i'll let him do that um the other game but yeah i only had like an hour into it at most uh but mm -hmm. it's fun so far and it's pretty cheap i want to say it was like on discount because it's new anyways uh the other game i've been playing is uh steam world build steam world oh, build yeah. is from the steam world folks it is a city builder uh rt rts city no it's a city builder game um yeah city builder 
you have on the surface, you build your city, you put uh, houses down for your workers, and then those get upgraded to engineers, and then those get upgraded to aristocrats, or aristobots, I think. Uh, you're building out your, uh, your uh, resources, so you're chopping down wood, uh, sawing it in the wood into, lo uh, into lumber, and then you're making glass from sand and all this sort of cool stuff. Then down in the, uh, in the mines, you, it's, it kind of goes a little more isometric, uh, or closer down, and you've got this giant grid of stones and granite and bedrock and gold and rubies, and you're, uh, placing down coverage areas, kind of like zones in SimCity, so, like, this is the worker zone, this is the, uh, mm. miner zone, this is the, like, the next level up mechanic zone, uh, and the size of those zones tell you how many miners you get, and then they dig out areas, and find rubies and stuff, and then you unlock like bridges to bridge gaps between chasms, and you're collecting uh, stuff, and eventually you find a thing that is your key to get off this planet, uh, and you're like b digging up these relics. It is fun, I'm having a great time with it. It is being tutorialized. Also a train comes every five minutes with like items you can buy to upgrade uh, the yeah, different trades. buildings. And then uh, you can also auto trade with it. Uh, the only problem is you can't auto trade for money. You have to auto trade for resources, uh, which is fine. But I literally kept running out of money a couple times. And I was like, I just want to sell like my overabundance mm. of something to get money. Uh, but that didn't quite work out. Uh, I, I, again, I'm having a blast with it. It's really fun. My only problem is it desperately seems like it wants to be two different video games. Uh, the one video yeah. game is the city builder up top where I'm placing cities, doing stuff with my resource management, making sure uh, like warehouses are next to uh, refineries, make sure my people are happy. I'm getting all this sort of stuff. And then down in the mines, it's like explore the mines, place the different zones out, uh, get rubies, try to dig it and find the mysterious artifacts, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and now... I just unlocked conveyor belts in the yeah. in the dirt place, and it's just like, oh, guys, you like, you you were building a city builder, and then all of a sudden you're like, what if we made like a pseudo factorio, but also didn't make it very well, and then like just lose yeah. uh, like creep feature not feature creep but like lose momentum on both sides of that equation of two games, and it's kind of kind of sucks. Um, I'm not saying everyone's going to feel that way, but it just feels like these two layers of the game are just getting farther and farther away from each other. Because the only time I go back to the surface is to be like, oh, fuck, I need to make more Aristobots so I can, like, mm. do this. So I make a bunch of Aristobots, and then I have to make a bunch of resources for them. And then that throws the balance of all my engineers, so I have to make more engineers. And then I have two little workers, so then I have to make a bunch more worker cities. And then by the time I finish that, now I have to like, oh, the workers don't have enough things, uh, so I have to make them more stuff to make them happy. And the other problem is the the there's one administration panel which shows the uh, the amount you're producing and the demand on that item, and then it shows like an up arrow, down arrow, or white when it's zero zero, and that's all the information you get. You don't get like, yeah. hey, where does this resource go to? I click on the building. How much re of this resource do you use every time I place one of you down? You don't tell me. You just say you work in 15 second chunks. Like I want to be, I so desperately want to be able to plan my city better by being like, okay, I need four refineries or four wood choppers and then two uh, guys who make lumber. And that means I can make one place that uses the wood from him and another place that uses the wood from them. Uh, and I can't do that because like none of the numbers are floated up. It's, and it's not like they're yeah. like, oh, we want to make this an easy, simple city builder. It's like we made this a hard, fun, deep city builder, but we just decided not to show you the entire UI because we want to make mm. it simple and don't want to overwhelm people. And, and it's it's really annoying. Uh, again, I'm I'm having fun playing the game. I'm gonna keep playing the game because I want to like see if I can beat the run of it. But it's just like at this point, I'm just going upstairs to manage stuff, staying in the mines, uh, building more guards so I can fight more creatures and just get to the next milestone uh, to uh, unlock more stuff in the mines. That's the only thing that like keeps you going back and forth is you need to 
get the Aristobots all, like, the next layer. So if workers are all happy, so you can then build engineers. Engineers are all happy, so you can make Arist Aristobots. Uh, yeah. And, like, I have to get them happy so I can build, like, research something in the mine. And it's kind of annoying. Like, the back and forth is at least there, so I go to the surface sometimes. But it just feels mm -hmm. like they realized that was their issue, is they need to gate the progress between them. Uh, and it's it's not the most elegant solution. Do I think there's a solution for this type of game? Probably out there. But I would rather than be like, hey, here's SteamWorld uh, Mineshaft and here's SteamWorld City Builder. Uh, and they're two separate video games. I think, yeah, I, I think the other thing is I, I had pretty much the exact same issues you had with it. And I think the other thing is with SteamWorld games, it always felt like they were... It's not that they were building something brand new or entirely unique, but they always had a unique spin on it and then they could make that work. And with this, it feels like the only unique spin is the two different layers. But within those, it's pretty tried and true city mechanics. It feels like a lot of other games. And like you said, they're just not exposing or implementing it well enough to make you stick around. It, it, it feels like a solid seven. But from the SteamWorld studio, I, I expect at least an eight or a nine because that's what they've yeah. been able to do with pretty much every other game. So, yeah, I was I was disappointed by and, it. Uh, and going even further, like when I beat this, I'm not going to play again. Like, yeah, you're right. not going to load a new map I mean, and start over. <clears throat> there's different maps, but I can't <clears throat> imagine even on a different map, I can't imagine the mine being that different it being unless it is. Yeah. Um, and I can go I mean, check I think it out. I, I think it'll be procedurally generated differently, but yeah. the levels will be the same where it's like exactly. level one's fairly easy, level two's harder, et cetera. Yeah. So I think it's I a, mean, it's definitely a one run game. I don't think you would benefit from multiple runs. Yeah. And I could see them getting to the point where they're like, oh, if you play here, it's a different item you're digging up to escape the planet. Like that would be cool. Mm. Like if your project was different, like, oh, this one's going to build a vault. This one built a submarine. This one builds like an airplane that flies around the planet forever, like something like that. But um, yeah. I don't think I don't think that's the case. Uh, again, uh, but final uh, overall, I'm still playing it. I'm enjoying it. I'm happy they made it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad they're branching out. They're tr testing the waters of other genres, seeing what sticks, seeing what works, and and seeing what they need to do. So um, that's image and form, right? Yeah, I think so. They're great. They make good games. Uh, those mm -hmm. are the games. I have been playing this week. Ian Gibson, what games have you been playing this week? Uh, folks, uh, there's one game on here to kick it off. Either of you college football fans? You know it. No. I, I know you're not. Well, let me put it that way. Uh, I've been playing. Uh, like, sorry, let me bring up the name. EA Sports College Football 25 which is essentially the sequel to NCAA football 14. It has been 11 years because that game came out in 2013, 11 years since we've had an NCAA college football game. Are you guys kind of aware of that history and kind of what happened there? Deeply. Uh, actually, I am, but just because I've listened to gaming news podcasts. Oh, I like this one. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, long and short of it was there was a Madden series and there was an NCAA series. College football is is a decent amount different from normal football. And so there's mm -hmm. a lot of diehard college fans. There's plenty of football fans that don't give a shit about the NFL, but are diehard college football fans, etc. So they had basically built two games that were similar, but also dissimilar for two different fan bases. And there was there was some mm -hmm. mingling and crossover there. But essentially, uh, until there was a lawsuit i'm reading from wikipedia here quote in 2013 uh, ea settled a lawsuit brought by former college football players who argued their name image and likeness were used without permission or compensation so basically players sued ea and said you have us in your football game and you're not giving us any money for it but the ncaa rules at the time basically said athletes college athletes can't be paid for their likeness they can't make any money off their off their hard work as athletes and so ea said okay we're just going to stop making ncaa football and that was a big mm -hmm. loss um but in 2021 there was a supreme court ruling that said that uh ncaa can't prevent college athletes from making money off their likeness uh and getting compensation for that and so ea said okay we're bringing back college football and this is probably one of the biggest mainstream releases of this year 
is EA Sports College Football 25. Uh, have you guys kind of been feeling that temperature? It feels like it's all fucking over. It, it, I mean, not in the circles that I'm in, but uh, w- with you saying like this is the, one of the biggest mainstream releases, a billion percent. Like this is like I don't I, I'm, I'm not when I say that crowd, I don't mean it like in a negative way. I'm just like that, yeah, the idiots, this, the dumbos. Yeah, exactly. The the fuckos who play this in Call of Duty, like fuck, they're yeah. not even gamers um but like like genuinely like this is huge for them and like i guarantee ea is about to make a fucking billion dollars off of this game yeah and, uh, and playstation and xbox as well because this is next gen only it is ps5 xbox series xs only so there's a shitload of gamers who are like i want to play the new college football what do you mean i can't i can't play it on my xbox one i can't play it on my ps4 right and right and they'll flat out buy a fucking console for this game um so yeah so so that was interesting there and i was kind of following that and then there's another part of it where i've i I do like occasionally playing football games right and i've tried madden i've played madden a little bit before i tried to play it about two years ago and i was like i really don't like what they've done with this game and Mm -hmm. and i feel like the madden fan base is starting to turn on them where they're like oh the only thing you do differently each year is add more bugs you know and it's like finally you're getting it (laughs) Um, and the other thing is seeing the pre-release reaction and people you know granted influencers etc people getting early copies but they're like guys this is not madden like it's probably 75 percent madden but the other 25 percent is new it's different and it feels so much better than madden And I was like, okay, all right, okay, all right, maybe I'll give this game a shot. And then the thing that made me play this game is if you have Game Pass, you have EA access, and this has a free 10 hour trial. So you can play up to 10 fucking hours of the full game. And I've played probably four or five of it over the last couple of days. And it's fun. Like, it's a fun football game. They've really upped the presentation. Um, It feels really good. I've been practicing my running skills, and it's really cool. Um, they have like timing, I don't want to call them mini games and they're not, I don't want to say quick time event either because I think that denigrates it, but like passing, I don't know when they change this, but passing is no longer a tap the button to pass to the guy. Like you have to do a tap and hold and that'll determine if it's a lob or like a medium or like a bullet shot. And if it's going to get there, right? Like they've added all these really cool mechanical layers that when you start interacting with them, I don't know if they did this in Madden as well, but you can you don't have to play as the quarterback anymore. Like you can pick a player and be like, I'm going to be the wide receiver and you're behind the cameras behind the wide receiver. So you're running around trying to get open and shit. And really? Yeah. Like they've added a lot. So like if you're into football games, this feels like probably the best football game they've made in the last uh, I'm talking on my ass here, but probably the last five or 10 years, honestly, like it feels like they Video games have call, come a long way since Madden 94 or whatever the fuck. Since I, I think Ping-pong. I think so. Yeah, it's it's huh? like, hey, what if what if you took your star franchise and actually made a good fucking entry in there instead of turning out <laughs> the same shit every year? And it feels like that's what they. it feels like they're using college football to do like a reset on the Madden franchise mm. instead of doing that yearly with the actual Madden franchise. So if you're at all into football games, you ever liked them and you got Game Pass definitely give this a fucking shot because it it feels and plays really cool and it's it's fun this is a fucking 82 right now on open critic that's pretty damn good i feel like yeah so Uh, honestly my my two big issues with it is number one um no couches it's very it's very flashy and it's very cinematic and what i mean by that is it's hard to quickly play through a game in terms of like run the play plays over hit the a button you've got the play hit the a button now you're gonna hike it right because it feels like they're constantly trying to do tv package stuff they're trying to be like oh here's a quick replay now we're gonna do a little transition here's an image of the huddle now pick the play and that's flashy it adds a lot of style but when you're playing your third or fourth game and you're just like okay let me just fucking get to the action quickly here Mm. you know so it's it's a little give and take the bigger problem i have with it though it has the Horizon Zero Dawn issue. You guys know what I'm talking about? Ugly main character. Uh, Jesus fuck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, wait, let me guess. What does Ian hate about Horizon? Um, I mean, probably the same thing I don't like about Horizon. It female protagonist. God, Confusing story. Ian. No, what is it? Sure, what please. is it? Thank you. 
it? it's that when they're doing the fucking cinematics, whenever they change a shot or change an angle or change the camera, there's like five the frames. Fuck up. It's like a five frame where it like loads in and hitches, right? Yeah. And, and it it does this in this as well. And they're constantly like doing trying to do cinematic shots, mm. but it's like cut to the shot, hitch in, cut to the shot, hitch in. And it's like, fuck you, fix your fucking engine. Like if yeah. you're gonna be that heavily dependent on cinematics, don't have it so you have a hitch in front of every fucking shot. Um so that it's a little annoying there because you're trying to play a game and you have to sit through cinematics that are hitching a little bit. Um but the gameplay itself is is a lot of fun. I, I'm probably not going to play much more of it. I'm not super into college football, and there's a lot of complexity to it. <laughs> really, and I just there's love a you lot said of like, stuff like you guys like college football. You into it? You want to be kick around the pigskin? You're like, ah, I fucking hate college football. It's my review. I don't. I don't hate it. It's just it's at the <laughs> point where I'm like, uh, I started a campaign and I'm like, oh shit. Like I, it they takes have a, whole a long ass menu. time. Yeah, they have a whole scouting menu. Like week Jesus by week, you're fuck. scouting players, and I just immediately put that shit on auto. And then yeah. I've I've played a couple games and I've done okay, but I'm like, oh, my playbook is weak. And now I'm like, what do you mean my coach has XP points that I need to level up to then get better plays in my playbook and then write custom plays? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't. Where's the arcade mode? I don't want to do that. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it's it's cool that that's in the game, and there's a bunch of people that are loving that, but. I, for sure. I don't necessarily want to do that. You know, it's it's for those sickos, the special sickos. Yeah. Um, and I played I played four or five games. That's enough for me. That's my football itch. I don't need to play dozens of hours of football games. I feel like as time went on, football games went from easy, like complicated, but easy to play to complicated mm -hmm. and complicated to play. Like if yeah. I were to play, I could play a football game from like 2005 way better than I could play one that came I'll, out today. I'll, yeah, because I I'll don't know anything about football. NFL Blitz every yes. like year and love and granted yeah. that's that's arcadey versus like more of a. But we, but we need an we need an arcade football game. I, I yeah. will say that was one of the problems yes. I had going into Madden two years ago. I absolutely hit that issue where it was like I can't even control these fuckers until I learn complex controls. Mm -hmm. uh i do think college football feels like they've done a good job of being like here's the basics and if you want to hold down this button and now you can change the play on the on the on the uh, on the live and you can do all sorts of different yeah. things so i so i think they've layered it nicely there is still a, a little bit of complexity in that first layer but once you figure it out especially with the mini game training you're good to go there yeah and then you can dive into the next layer if you want to Mm. I just always remember it's like, oh, now we added the ability. You can hit X and you can gram dam during the match. And it's just like, what is what does that mean? Like, what's a what, gram dam? Uh, yeah, what's a don't forget you can hold uh, Y and be able to wing ding to the left center. And you're like, um, truck sticking. I, I don't know how to do that. How do I a truck sticking? Right? I love sticking it to yeah, the trucks. Yeah. If, if only exactly. they, if only they would take oh, sweet. it sweet got a fucking bot um, in the chat well, hell yeah i don't know hell i'm, yeah. I'm kicking them hell yeah cheap what viewers. up hydro 203 what if no what if they're selling us cheap viewers like like monitors things we can view things why don't we call oh. monitors viewers why didn't that happen well listen because i wasn't going to call it around the viewer <laughs> Give me a stupid fucking channel oh name. Oh, uh, uh, would be. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. It was a, it was a beautiful name. Uh, Rolled off the tongue. It was so perfect. Definitely wasn't too many letters for a Twitter bio. Yeah, and save data is definitely better. Uh, okay, anyway. I mean, it definitely is. It's to be clear. It is better. Yeah, it on is the better. scale of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ian, please continue with the games you've been playing. Yeah, I, I, I've i talked about Armor Reforger. I just want to say Will, other Zach, and I have continued to play Armor Reforger, but we played a community mod that uh, is really cool called Overthrow. Will, how would you describe Overthrow? Uh, I would describe it as uh, living in America today. What the? What yeah, is this I would game? describe it. So Armor Reforger is like, uh, it's basically a next gen multiplayer milsim game. It's the the main setting is the 80s Eastern Europe Cold War gone hot. Um, but they have a whole bunch of mods that adds a bunch of content and stuff. But you it's said a lot of words there. FPS Milsim. Um, oh, 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 Arma Reforger. 
Yeah. Yes. I thought you were saying Mama armor. Reforger. I thought you were saying armor. And I was like, it's like a blacksmith oh. game. Like you play as a blacksmith. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, Zach, we do have a document that you are currently in. Uh, no, of. that's what I looked at. That's why I was like, oh, because I was looking okay, up Armory gotcha. Forger and got nothing. And then I went back to the doc to see. Oh, I forgot I can read. Damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, curse. yeah, yeah. It's um, crazy. But anyways, I, I just want to call out Overthrow because we, we play a lot of Arma mods, but it's usually just like, here's the scenario. The scenario is bad guys here. Go kill them. Or there's an other scenarios we play where it's like, here's the scenario. It's Vietnam. There's bad guys here. Go kill them. And there's nothing wrong with those. They're fun to play. But Overthrow feels like GTA Online. And, and what I mean by that is like, like the original GTA Online level one you're a character you have nothing you just have like a shitty little apartment and you get little <laughs> quests and the quests are like go scout this base or go take out this one guy in this other town or go put up posters and so we loaded it up and we were playing multiplayer and i don't know about you will but i think the thing that really struck me is most arba games you start with a loadout like a basic loadout and you're near the mission but in this we were like i have a pistol and that's it. I don't even have a compass and I have to like, f like find a vehicle to then go to where we need to go, which is a 10 minute drive and then kill these guys with a pistol. And oh, shit, they dropped a machine gun. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll take their AK. So now I have an AK and three magazines. Like it feels like that was the coolest part was like leveling, like like scavenging for gear and getting better loadouts. So do you have the same feeling, Will? Yeah, uh, we, we we took out a um, radio tower and with the last bullet we had between us, I killed the the, the guy as uh, he was coming oh, to kill that's us. So good. And then we stole yeah. everything. But it, it's fun. It's it's definitely bare bones. Uh, but it's it's neat in the fact of like some of those systems work, and you're just like, oh, this is really neat. Like going like planning yeah. this, and and uh, and having some consequences in the game. It's good. Yeah, it's it definitely feels it, it is early. It does have some jank to it. it has some stuff that doesn't work so we ended up we played one session and then we're like you know what we're gonna put this on the shelf we're gonna come back when it's more polished and released but it's it's very surprising to me to play a mod in arma that feels so different from pretty much everything else you get everything else is just like one-off missions and you have a preset loadout or whatever but this just this feels like role play in a way and we were we were having fun with it that's awesome um the operator will have you played the operator uh as tradition for the past three weeks on this podcast i have played and beaten the operator wow i too have also beaten the operator Hell today yeah. how wow. fucking good is this game how that, fucking good is it it might be my game of the year whoa it's, it's up there right it's up there right now it's between that and bellatro i'm not sure which one it's i'll just say this oh shit it's I'm like reading what it's, this game's about i'm excited <laughs> it's so good it's like let me give you the let me give you the the lowdown basically you are a person sitting at a computer at the federal department of intelligence just like you are an op, you're an operator which basically means that you're like a call center agent for for like let's call them fbi detective fbi agents out in the field so they will call in and be like hey i got a crime scene i have some security footage i'm sending it your way can you figure anything out or like hey i'm trying to find this guy can you find his address and so you're maneuvering around a system to do that um there is more to it than just that um it's like 13 bucks on sale right now and for me i read this in the reviews Somebody was like, this game is really, really cool. It just sucks that it's like less than four hours. And I was like, that's sounds no, fucking perfect. That's, that's what I want. Yeah, please. You're making, fucking... me, you're making me more less... excited for this game. Yeah. And it was less than three hours for me to beat it. But let me tell you, that was some of the best three hours I've ever played in a video game. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there was a story beat about halfway through. I, I woke up this morning and I was playing from like 730 until like 830 this morning before I had to go to work. And there was a story beat that happened and it made me Some guy so the couch. it made me so fucking depressed that oh, I was no. like that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stop playing the game and go to work 30 minutes early because oh, holy shit, because I can't 
And I was what like, the fuck? Oh. and it's 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 a lot like inscription where it's playing a lot with you are seated at a computer and it does a really good job of like the character interacting with the world and not just they're it's already preset so there good. in a way. And, and surprise drops and everything. It's very, very good. Highly recommend the operator. It, yeah, it's it's very, very good. There was a moment as well in that game where I I just mouth hit the floor. I was like, excuse me. And there's some the music in this game is also fantastic. So good. And a hundred percent stream friendly if you want to stream it. Um, I was about to ask. I was like, "Is this a good stream game?" Because I, I would love to do. It could so be. I was thinking about that, but I, feel, but I feel like so they have a very good disclaimer at the beginning where they say, "Hey, you should play this game with headphones. It's very atmospheric and intensive." And to be honest with you, there are also moments in this game where things slow down. There is almost nothing happening for like thirty seconds. So you're just kind of taking things in, and well, I feel like, like if I was, stream. uh, yeah, which is great. Um, but if I was streaming, I would be like, all right, hey, everybody, how you guys doing? Let me check the chat. Like, like you would not get the full mm -hmm. atmosphere of this game. So honestly, you tune out of fuck, the game. Gotcha, fuck, gotcha. fuck stream audience. Just play this game on it's your very, own. Very You're going to enjoy it much more that way. I don't play games. Also, for content. if you have to take breaks, make sure you stop at the beginning of a chapter. Because if you stop like in uh, the yeah, middle of little... it, it'll make you replay the entire yeah. thing. But there's a little save icon that comes there up. There is, but it doesn't. Icon. Yeah, yeah, they don't come that often. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're kind of right. It's like at the end of end of a case in a yeah. way. Yeah, okay. highly, highly recommend. Very, very good. Sorry, I just remember, there's there's two moments, and that I would say, I are, say there's I'll, more. There's, there's I know, yeah. but there's two particular moments of all time that I, I'll talk about you to you later probably that blow my mind in the game. There's also a moment that you can fail and continue the game. And uh, I I think I have a longer time in it than Ian because I distinctly reloaded the game and did it again. Uh, so that was my question. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could succeed or if I was kind of forced into that because I don't think I made a mistake, but the way you're talking about it, I must have made a mistake. But that was the moment where I was like, oh, I'm, I gotta, I'm just gonna go to work. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh mm. no. Yeah, but there's yeah. there's some there's some good moments. There's some like like yeah, it's just good. It's very good. Um just across the it. board. I, I will say the one thing I was thinking about this and it is something you could hold against the game, but I think the way the game is structured, it's okay. This this is a linear game and it is limited. It's not the type of game where they give you tools and then they iterate and give you a whole bunch of different opportunities to use those tools. It's uh, not like, like there's one tool. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, looking at this game, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be like, hey, you have a cool story to tell me. Like, just tell it to me. You know, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing. It's 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 very linear. There's only one way to solve these cases. And it's it doesn't iterate that much on mechanics. It'll most of the, the big mechanics are like one and done. But mm. once you exactly like you said, you realize, hey, you were trying to tell me a story and you were telling it so fucking effectively that I am constantly bombarded with emotions here. Okay. just be along for the ride there you know it's not it's not like a case of the golden idol where it's like a deep puzzler or anything and it's not mm -hmm. like a hack net where we're letting you run wild in this computer sandbox or anything like that it's a story-based game lean into that and you will be very satisfied yeah. with the story and it, and it oh, yeah. again like there's no like big fail states because even there was a moment where like a character said something and i was like they, I had to answer a question, and I was like, uh, I'll pick this one. And then I realized what they said to me, and I went, mother... Uh, like, I had the tools <gasps> to, like, figure oh, out wow. part of it. And I was like, motherfucker, like, why didn't I do that? Because mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't... Yeah. And, but then it gives you just another round of, like, check with that with that thing. Another dice roll. But uh, it's just cool that they kind of plan for that. So, uh, yeah. It's very, it's, very good. Highly, highly recommend. I'm glad you I, I think I think you're right. It is It is in contention for game of the year right now. That was wow. for sure. I was gonna say, have either of you heard of Home Safety Hotline? No. no. Uh, it, it, it's a similar is that game. Hentai game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a similar kind of thing where you're you're like the whole game is you're at like a computer interface uh and oh, you're like yeah. getting getting phone calls from people being like, "Hey, this is happening in my house. What's going on?" And you can be like, "Oh, it's you have goblins." 
And oh. like, that's the real answer. There's like, there's like, you have like a, a, a employee handbook and it's like, if someone has, is finding like dust next to their bed, they might have fairies. Like you should tell them oh. to leave out this lemons is- at night and the fairies will die. Uh, the fucking extra life game here. I'm put. It's it's very good. On the list. Uh, I, I watched the let's play of it, and it's like what you're saying. Like it's like four hours max, and like just it it, it progresses in in a fun way, uh, mm-hmm. and it, it feels also it feels very like retro computer. Like it's obviously like Windows ninety eight fucking vibes, which I super dig. Hell so. yeah. We're not that into that here on. Oh Channel. okay. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. Windows eleven cucks. Yeah, actually, we're yeah. we're pure eight fans. Actually, Windows uh, Eleven was pretty pretty good. I don't have Windows. <laughs> oh man, can I tell you about the hacking I did today? Fucking yeah. Uh, so I do some contract work uh, for a friend of mine, and I was I've been editing videos and I've been exporting them out of Premiere and and because they're social media videos, they need and the youth doesn't like audio. They need to read things on social media. Yeah. So I use CapCut. Uh, to put auto captions yeah. on it because it does it brilliantly. It doesn't capitalize anything or use punctuation, so it looks cool and hip. Uh, and then I like use like meme sounds and shit like that. Um, so I updated it today. I like got on my computer, booted it up, and it's like, oh, there's an update. I'm like, okay, let me update it. Update it up. Put all the stuff. I uh, do all my Premiere stuff and I toss it over into CapCut for the last caption edit. Uh, and mm-hmm. it says uh, generate captions. Five uses left. I said, oh. the fuck you say to me? Yeah. Five uses left. So I immediately go to the CapCut subreddit. It says, do not update. Uh, they have, mm-hmm. they're starting to charge for shit. And I was like, fuck. So I completely uninstall it. And I get a downloader for 1.26 that installs 4.0. And I was like, fuck, okay. So I installed that. Still, And I saved my local files. It's still did um still did 4.1 i was like oh are you kidding me and so then i realized the installer is just calling to a server so capcut must have upgraded the call from that exe to pull 4.1 so people don't pull 4.0 so all said and done i found a windows apk exe of the full install of 4.0 it it was called that i don't know if those are the correct words uh, no, APK it was so, is like an Android package, but yeah, but yeah, yeah which I, I thought realized. too, and I was really confused. But it said that, and I was like, I think you're just naming this because idiots Google for things. Um, yeah. And so it was the it was like 600 megabytes, and I was like, okay, that's the entire 4.0. Yeah. It's not going to call to a server. Installed that, I got 4.0 back, and I was like, oh, thank God, because I was bless. like, I'm not paying nine dollars a month for a program that is so flawed in its use except for auto captioning and letting me put stupid sound effects on it like it it the i keep trying to do like premiere shortcut keys like it doesn't even have like it has copy paste but it doesn't have like the plus and minus to zoom in like they they yeah. like i felt like they thought they were going to get sued if they put it on the same keys as someone else i'm like please just put the, use the industry standard <laughs> somewhat mostly industry standard keys uh but they don't uh, and it's Damn. a nightmare. But anyways, I got it back. That was my cool bit of hacking I did today. Uh, I call it hacking, but it's more of just fuck the corpos uh, sort of thing. What's up, Chums? You ready to Delta? Yeah, you ready to right. you ready to Hideo Maikajima at this hotel? Oh, we ch- we chasing Jesus. him? Yeah, we're chasing him, folks. This has been an elaborate ruse. It's actually a Jason Kojima oh, episode, and Ian hasn't been here the entire time. It's uh, nice. it's Kojima son. <laughs> he, he's the Patriots. What's the name of the program? The Lolly Lulelo. The Lolly Lulelo. Yeah, that's Ian. <laughs> Excuse me. What? You're the thing from uh, Peace Walker with the eyeball. I don't think you can it. say that anymore. <laughs> oh wait, Doctor Strangelove. No, oh no, it's, it's something different. I know what you mean. I, isn't I don't the know what thing in called. Peace Walker? Isn't that the brain that is in the Lala Lula? Yeah, uh, I God, couldn't tell fuck. you. Man, Metal Gear is awesome. Uh, so good, dude. So we should good. do another episode of Chasing Kojima. Yeah, we should. What's he up to? He's gotten cool. He should be our friend. We should be scanned into. Yeah, we just got to become famous. Yeah, we should get him out there. Uh, Ian Gibson, I heard you like 
news. Is there any news you'd Castlevania. like to tell us? Yeah, uh, guys, I have some news for you. Uh, Humble Games has been entirely laid off. This is the <sighs> publishing arm of Humble Bundle. Uh, they had recently been purchased by IGN, and IGN has decided to completely close them down, and it's 36-person staff ending all Humble Games operations. Question is it is it IGN that actually bought them or is it Ziff Davis or whoever the fuck owns IGN? I, th- I think it's I think it's you're right. It's Ziff Davis. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, well, all I can Ziff say Davis. as the CEO of Ziff Davis was quoted saying, "They should let this really humble themselves uh, mm. for having the opportunity to have worked there." God damn it! No, yeah, I'm just trying to find. There was... and get the fuck out of here. There's a really shitty quote. I can't find it, but there was a, there was a quote from Ziff Davis basically saying that they are being restructured or, or, or reorganized. I forget the word they said. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, no, it, it doesn't count as reorganized if you laid everybody off like that's. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't yeah. count. Hey, guys, yeah. I re- reorganized the scrambled egg. It's all reorganized. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, Anyways, that brings the uh, 2024 games industry layoff totals to 11,200, which is a recap is already more than the 2023 total. Uh, it's fucked out there, folks. It, it, literally at uh, it, I, what, like February, we had already broken the like 2023 firing I think was, I think, number. I think it was late May was when we was when we finally went past crazy. it. But we and were very, like, we were very close early on. You're yeah, right. and it's just not slowed down. I mean, I guess it has. I mean, it's not like Microsoft and Sony are laying off chunks like they were at the start of the year. But like next week, you next you week. have to imagine we're going to hear embracers laying off several more teams before the end of the year. Like, yeah, yeah, it, it, it just it's I mean, hey, this isn't new. It's just really frustrating. Um, I don't know if this is one of the I, uh, let me pull up the thing so I don't sound like an idiot. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to talk about the Bethesda unionization or if you want this to be a segue, but like, it's cool that that's, Bethesda's that's game studios up. have segue, have, have unionized or are trying to unionize because yeah, spoilers. It, it, it's a thing where like, Hey, it'd be great if unionization worked just like, Hey, the majority of the workers agree that that's a good idea and they should do it. And then the, the employer says, okay, you're allowed to do that now. Uh, which but like um, props props to microsoft that's that's what they've been doing they have been fully recognizing these unions we're i believe we're, we're, we're at three now so previously it was zenimax qa now mm-hmm. like you said it is bethesda game studios uh wall-to-wall workers have unionized as well as world of warcraft developers so that is at least three unions that would that we're aware of that have come out and been fully recognized by microsoft question and this is this is like a politics uh, or an optics question. Do you think that Xbox should be screaming this from the Raptors? Because it would definitely make people forget a bit more about them buying all of Bethesda and then destroying uh, Tango GameWorks and the, what was the other studio they instantly closed? Not but, instantly. But, but for 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 who though? Yeah, one I, of the I guess, Arcanes. I guess the question it, is. It's only going to matter for the hardcore uh, <laughs> liberal gamers who <laughs> who are on Twitter and are like, hey, we actually care about like the, the people who make our things and we want them to be treated well. And, yeah. you know, a healthy games industry is a good games industry. And obviously that has not been the case over the last year. Clearly, that's the whole last article of uh, Humble Games getting uh, completely laying off everybody. But like, you know... It, I think Xbox needs a fucking win in almost any category. I mean, the most recent headlines they're getting is that they're changing the way Game Pass is structured in a bad yeah. way. So it would at least be good if they're like, hey, we're doing that because we have to, because we care about our employees and we need to, we need more money to like help take care of them and unionize them and whatnot. Like, like do that. Cause it's like, God knows Phil's, Phil and Sarah Bond and Matt Booty want to look like, good people and this would be good like like hey they asked for a new union and we're we're complying like we're we're going as best we can with this uh yeah, whether or not I, that's I, true because they are a multi-billion dollar corporation but you know but i do think 
unions are bad for the company, right? They oh, prevent yeah. the company from taking advantage of their workers. For and sure. so for Microsoft, Microsoft is doing a good thing in that they are not doing the traditional of fuck unions and we're going to do anything we can inside uh -huh. and outside of the law to fuck over unions. And they're doing, yeah. but they're doing the bare minimum in today's society that they know they need to do, which is basically, mm. we're not going to fight it. We recognize it, but we're also not going to actively encourage the rest of our workforce to unionize. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think that's the key thing is they're treading that line of, <laughs> we don't want any negative press, but we also don't want to jeopardize a business. And that means saying, okay, you can unionize, but we're not going to do that's anything fair. More beyond that. Yeah. I, I guess if they, if they did kind of, like champion it of like, look how cool we're being to our workers. The rest of the workers would be like, okay, well, I would also like well, these benefits. Yeah. What if you were cool to us? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm happy that they're not like a Starbucks or an Amazon, but yeah, I, yeah. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we at least have some positive labor news this week, um, even though we, we did have a, a, a layoff. I do have some more positive news, folks. Uh, I cannot fucking wait for this skibbity film guys that oh, is yeah, in the dude. works from Michael Bay. How excited are you for the skibbity toilet cinematic universe? I mean, we all know this is a joke, like. It, 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 not that this isn't real, but a joke no, in the sense of real. like, like, like this is a meme of like, hey, we're all, well, you're you're above, you're you're both above thirty, right? No, no, higher. You're kidding me? Well, yeah, yeah, like you're older than thirty is what I'm saying. I'm not older than. Well, 30. I'm saying go go up, keep going. You're older than fifty. Uh, one more, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> okay we're we're I'm in my we're, 40s okay shut the fuck up you're not we're young millennials yeah we're youngish millennials skibbity toilet is way after our time we don't really understand what the fuck it means but we never will laugh it. at it we will did laugh you, at did it you guys know there's like a hundred episodes of skibbity toilet on youtube i believe it you know uh it's like it's like the fucking modern youtube poops right like people just fucking yeah it's wild that it's gmod though that it's just filmmaker. fucking gmod yeah. yeah yeah uh somebody stuck this fucking head on a toilet model and it's the funniest shit you've ever seen if you're uh gen alpha or gen z and like 12 hey, hey i get it i see where you're going along but yeah. like it, it i think what's really funny is the fact that it, michael bay is attached to it because michael bay to <laughs> us is like big explosion guy and i'm like what the fuck also i think you pointed this out like how are you doing this? Because Skibbity Toilet Guy is the G Man. Yeah. So how are you getting the rights to make this work without Valve coming after you? <laughs> I, I wonder if Source Filmmaker has some weird clause that they could use to exploit. I, I don't. I, I don't yeah. know. That's just pure yeah, conjecture. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, will I see this when it comes out? Of course not. But will I watch the trailer and be like, man, it's fucking crazy. They did it. They made the damn <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, of course they I will. Yeah. They sure did. Okay. So let me ask you something. Um, Skibba did it. Between like Hello Neighbor and Roblox and Skibbity and Five uh -huh. Nights at Freddy's, uh -huh. it feels like if you're a young gamer right now, the weird little things that you like that then hit mainstream Mm. Then immediately get merchandising deals. You can buy that oh shit at God. Walmart. You're seeing movies and TVs of it, right? We didn't have that as a youth, right? When when uh, when we were crazy. looking at, at our weird little games and our weird little memes from the 2000s, which would you prefer? How we had it where it was mm. our joke, but it never went beyond that and never got bigger than that? Or nowadays where it feels like it's, it eventually they, becomes they, mainstream, they, but then you get the merchandise and stuff from it. They try to capitalize on everything as soon as they can. Um tough you know yeah i mean i feel like it's such a fucking boomer mindset to be like well back in my day it was better but like i don't know as a chronically <laughs> online person I'm, I'm happy would it be cool to get like i don't know a fucking ben drowned plushie when i was a kid sure but like i'm happy to be like wow ben drowned that was a moment online am i right give me, folks give me like an r-rated stickdeath.com movie and I would be there day one to see it in theaters, you know? Yeah, uh, uh, like a full feature length animated flash film. Yeah. 
uh, yeah. in theaters. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Newgrounds, yeah, exactly. the movie 2000. And it's just a bunch of shorts, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was the one that AGFSK... FSFs, oh, SK. the the fucking Ziggy Boogie Doog. Yeah, something uh, like bomb. that. Yeah. Give me yeah. a Club Penguin reality TV show. Or oh, Neo what's Pets the, the series. What's the um yeah. uh, uh 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 I'm I'm Tuesday's Take calling. Your Have you got your pants? What's got the you. it's like it, they were Star? <laughs> No, it was they were like pretend uh PSAs, but it was like stick drawn and the guy G. like Joe. Yeah, I was thinking the Joe thing too. Lady, ladybugs come out of my nipples, and you know, you know what I'm <laughs> talking about. This is too big. I don't, but it sounds uh, funny. And the, wait, what'd you say? My my anus is bleeding. Yeah, my anus is bleeding. That my that anus is yeah, that whole company of yeah, those videos. Yeah. I feel like those with the silly hats, and they're just like beating the guy. Uh, <laughs> like I think uh, that yeah. that would be a good feature film from Michael Bay. Mm. You can sustain uh, that for yeah over yeah. an hour. I'd be fucking impressed. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, part of me is like, I like having the small stuff so it doesn't feel like it has been cannibalized and made mainstream. But some of that shit when I was 10, I loved it. I would have loved it for it to be even bigger and more, more mm. well loved and everywhere. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess it's like <clears throat> fucking a home, not uh, fucking Homestuck Homestar. of my day versus undertale of today like the way that fandom yeah. has been satiated versus not yeah um and they're both terrible what was so marzipan hey marzipan i don't know what you're doing <laughs> it's a strong <laughs> band yeah well, that's pretty good yeah i'm pretty good at and at, at impressions i don't know uh, okay oh we should have you yeah. on an impression stream you should uh, do an impression stream that'd be fun chris and i go yeah you should rank mano them mano. You we'll should rank. Would you rather West. this expression Have or I that expression? Have you been on a stream? Oh, never mind. You, duh, Will was literally on a stream with Wes this weekend. Last, last weekend. one I was on was the mobile, the mobile ads where you like strapped me to a chair and made me watch oh, three yeah. hours of mobile the game worst. ads. Yeah. Well, we we have our viewers brain. every now and then. We're like, you got a guest to talk about mobile games. And you had a whole section of like, uh, mobile game ads that treat women badly and you chose to get yet another straight white guy. And I was like, yeah, we really kind of yeah. fucked up on that one. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I know women. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Oh, Ian, there's one thing I know about Ian Gibson. He knows women. Champion. I know women. I don't know when, I would say champion. Yo, know. when when did you when's the last time you hung out with Kamala? Oh uh, well, Doug. you know, we always we live what within the context Hillary? of what has been. I don't even know that fucking that quote is so complicated, I don't even I haven't even memorized uh, it. I just yet. see you fell out of a coconut <laughs> See, I uh, I I have no idea what the coconut tree is, and I am way too afraid to ask. So please don't like, explain it to me. Okay. I don't even know what it is. I, like I said, I don't know what Skippy Toilet is. Coconut tree? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to she know. Just, she just says the weirdest shit sometimes, and you're just like, and she yeah. says the weirdest shit and then I, laughs out loud, and you're just like, What's her laughs. Going on her here? laughs deserve to be made fun of. That quote I yeah. think is actually good, despite how much memeage it gets. But yeah, the coconut you know. tree one. Yeah, yeah, I, I see yeah. That. It's it's what she's saying is good, but like yeah, her her la just like <laughs> delivery is like is like yeah. okay, calm down, take another <laughs> zanny, let's go. <laughs> it's wild. Anyways, I gotta practice that impression for my next save data stream. Jesus uh, fucking Christ! No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm excited that's, for that's, the next PowerPoint presentation stream so I can rile them up again. Those save yo, data we gotta do another one of those. I actually yeah, started a list so on my fun. phone, of, I, and I desperately want to read them to you right now, but of oh. uh, presentations that, because I, I was like, I need to start writing these down for when someone is like, oh, we're doing a presentation show, and I can I can think of something good, so. It's like why cigarettes are good Please. for you. Um, they make, they're cool, like and they make you feel How good. they make yeah. your lungs all cool and sparkly. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was a fucking Anyways, nice. uh, <laughs> last news item of the night. Bit of a talker here, folks. It's finally happened. The International Olympics Committee. Joe Biden dropped out of the ring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> International Olympics Committee has finally agreed to create 
the Olympic esports games with the first games happening in 2025 in Saudi Arabia. They have not decided oh, what games will be part of the Olympic esports, but if it were up to us, what would we put in the Olympic esports games? I mean, it's Pong. gotta be the fucking major ones. It's gotta okay. be League of Legends. F- fuck that. Fuck that. I think that's Okay, dumb. okay. We're trying to be fun. Flop. And if I getting over whatever it. you want, oh, Quap would be really good. I see. I like that. I like the idea of. I like the idea of. There needs to be a little bit of a creative one. So I think it's. I think it's oh. Minecraft sandbox one hour, and you're given a random topic, and the teams each have to build something in the Minecraft sandbox, and after an hour, you get judged with it, oh, like gymnastics. Score. I like that. I like that. You know, like let's get creative with it. Why does it have to be fucking Overwatch everywhere? You know, there's there's more to video mm. games. I think uh, they did. There was a rumor that iRacing would be involved. Like, let's get some competitive uh, motorsports Snooze. racing in there. Snooze fest. That makes a uh, fuck you. That makes uh, sense. Uh, uh, Factoria. Real like, cars. Po- Just race real cars. Pokemon. Cars are they have a sure. fucking Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, they, Just do they a fucking have Pokemon, Pokemon turning. Pokemon has that. Yeah, yeah but, but it's not an Olympic gold medal and monotype, is it? Yeah, you it's could be the next Michael Phelps. All right. Yeah. It's the Master Ball Cup. All right. God, I fucking I fucking hate Olympic swimming. It's such bullshit how many medals they get. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> what? what? Can is I this talk bit? about it real quick? Can no. I get on my soapbox? The whole thing about like, oh, Michael Phelps has like 20 gold medals. It's like, yeah, but he's only in one sport. And the only reason he has so many gold medals is because there's so many different events in the same sport. It'd be like it'd be like if baseball instead of baseball being one Olympic sport, if they did. okay, whoever has the most hits gets uh, a gold medal. Whoever whoever pitches the most gets a gold medal. Whoever runs to first base the fastest gets a gold medal. It's like a fucking course. You're going to get that many gold medals. You're still only playing one sport. It's not fair to compare swimming olympic athletes medals to any other sport because they are competing in like 20 fucking events for the same sport it's not fair yeah sorry i just get i just get really upset about that it's such bullshit you well, planted the cannabis right on, on them one. didn't you <laughs> that's wow right. he was in maryland when it happened the so. long-term beef with uh, it was just old bay Michael i swear was the yeah. other guy who was like really dumb neil armstrong oh ryan L- ryan latke latke L- or something Lockney? Something like that. Lucky. He, he was something. Something. He's call me, so call me funny, baby. Stupid. Call me baby was big when when it came out, and they were like, all the the women swimmers made a music video of them asking him to call them to the tune oh. of "Call Me Maybe." Oh. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Olympics are fun. Lots of, Lots sex. of fucking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cardboard beds. Same idea. Damn. Oh yeah, they yeah. got showers, don't they? They got floors. You think, you think, my question is like obviously, AC. obviously the crazy jet so Olympic athletes are fucking left, right, and center. What well, do you think the curling crowd shows up and it's just like, it's just people hey, in their forties. I'm a divorced guy it. from Maryland. You want to? Yeah, and then he me? blows you out in the, <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> and he's got his fucking pack. He's got a fucking brush he's and scrubbing. he's just cleaning you off. Yeah. Yeah, he's brushing he's me clean. with a brush. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh-huh. You're fucking and sliding across that shower floor. Yeah, yeah but my face his is brush, covered he's using in shampoo. His mustache. <laughs> mush. Mush. Yeah. Damn, God. I gotta go to the Olympics. I fucking uh, love curling. <laughs> curling is genuinely really cool. Uh, it's, it's almost as cool as that sport where the guy, the people like throw the rolly rocks and they have to like stop, like the sides of the rocks are like flat. Bocce? So they like, no, it's not bocce. It's some other oh. thing. There's always that clip of that guy who like gets it right in between the two holes and like lands on the bullseye. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you that detained. that it's. I think it's like an Irish or it's some sort of European, stupid European Op- game. Opening ceremony for the Paris Olympic Games is tomorrow. I'm excited. I fucking love opening What's ceremonies. Time? I think it's 1 30 eastern time i, I want to say Snoop Dogg get this get this the torch, this is a right? crazy thing this is a fucking crazy thing this is a crazy thing oh my god most most olympic ceremonies happen inside some giant fucking uber expensive stadium they built just for the olympics and then will immediately go unused two years uh-huh. later right mm-hmm. Such a big apparently for the paris olympic games they are doing the opening ceremony on the river the seine river that goes through paris so wow. it's not going to be in a stadium and they they quote unquote cleaned the river enough to be able to swim in it. And some of the events will be 
in the river going through the center of Paris. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see that opening ceremony. Yeah. They're actually the torches on top of Notre Dame, but they lit it really early. <laughs> God yeah. damn it. Uh, can you can you watch the Olympics without having some cable subscription these days? Hey, buddy, you know how to Google. Come on now. Actually, yeah. I don't. I think it's all on Peacock now, but I'm pretty sure you could just find well, I mean, it. All I, sorts I have of Peacock, places. so I could I could do that. I got to watch Halo wait season for two. You know, Peacocktober. It's a joke. Peacocktober. That's good. They should do that. They, yeah. Yep. They should. Anyways, final segment. Content call out. Uh, Will's got something here. Oh, it's your, you know, I saw this here and I said that motherfucker. If he didn't, if he didn't see that I put this in the fucking Discord, I'm gonna scream. Jesus, and that's then, why it's here. I know. I just, I was here. expecting you to do the classic. You found it first, sort of thing that you do with everything. No. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, this you want is. Me to? Uh, you're talking about the Factorio video, right? Yeah. Oh shit, stop playing. Um, there is this video I posted in the Discord. Um, it is by MS Miss Gamer 47, I assume. Or MS Gamer 47. Uh, Gamer. And it is the ultimate hype video for Factorio. Uh, it is. Uh, Ooh, it is fest. called I Played Factorio Like a City Builder. It's got hype music. It shows off this, like, crazy. I mean obviously modded right and i haven't gotten that late yeah there's 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 a lot um, of mods in here mods yeah. of just like this crazy factorio city it's got ships shipping things around the planet it's got trains it's got the truck from mad max uh it is really cool and really neat uh and just a marvel to look at they also have a bunch of other videos uh time lapse videos um it's not really if you're not a factorio fan it doesn't really matter it's just like just think of like the prettiest sim city like it's just gorgeous to look at and it's put yeah. to music it's really it's, fun and cool if you're familiar with uh coriani scotzi the film it is it has the coriani scotzi soundtrack from philip class and it's shot a lot like that so it is a very oh. beautiful looking time lapse landscape imagery type of thing it's it's a great like four and a half or it's five minutes great five minutes to just sit and be entranced by factorio yeah, I don't I don't want to give you guys credit because the joke is that I hate Factorio, even though I've never played it. This is a very pretty video, and I'm shocked how much I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's great. It's very good. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, what do you got to talk about, Ian? Something in your wheelhouse, for sure. It's definitely my, my wheelhouse. I would say multiple parts of this is in my wheelhouse. It's an article from Bloomberg called Roblox Predator Problem Potentially Exposes Kids to Pedophiles. Uh, I was thinking about putting this. In, yeah, I was thinking about putting this in the in the um, the news section. But but really, this is more of like a really well done article just going through multiple well-known members of the Roblox community that have then subsequently been arrested for child pornography, child exploitation, child trafficking, etc. And it, it does a very good job of laying out what we have talked about over and over again, especially in our Roblox with Friends series, which is that don't let your fucking kids play Roblox. Like it is a fucking wild, wild west out there. You have a whole bunch of people that uh, are being predators towards children and gamers in general, not just with microtransactions, but with like inappropriate comments and uh grooming and all sorts of things like that and then you got weirdos out there trying to like harass your kids to make weird stream videos that etc so you know you got to be careful be <laughs> you know honestly <laughs> i have i have done some very inappropriate things to strangers oh Roblox. we know we watch those streams <laughs> i know it's honestly some of the content i'm the most proud of but uh i don't let Save your kids go on roblox yeah yeah. So this is, a, this is an article from, uh, again, from Bloomberg, uh, written by Olivia Carville and Cecilia D. Anastasio. Roblox's pedophile problem. Go give it a read. It does a really good job of breaking down known individuals and essentially that Roblox is not doing anything about the problem. Mm. Paste that shit in the, in the chat. And I'll paste the YouTube video as well. Yeah, I'll put this all in the uh, link to the YouTube and the podcast description. <clears throat> I will link these videos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is that all? Is that everything? Uh, I put one in here. I'll be quick about it. Uh, everybody who likes any FromSoft games knows about Vati Vidya. 
he's not a small creator at all. In fact, he has over 3 million subscribers on YouTube, but he did just put out a new video essay uh, talking about Elden Ring lore. And uh, the production value for this is genuinely off the fucking charts. The video itself is titled an Elden Ring movie, children of the Scarlet rot. Uh, and it is that like, like he made a fucking 45 minute long video, like movie uh, because the production value is insane. He has so much like custom animated art that is gorgeous. Uh, and then even just like normally in these videos where he's describing the lore of these games, he'll show like the the applicable parts of the map. And at some point he started getting like camera mode shots with like r- ROM hacks and shit, like not ROM hacks, but like mods and shit. Mm-hmm. And in this, he's straight up just like, has camera angles for fight scenes like it's a real movie and it's so fucking fascinating uh and it's it's actually about like a a lore tidbit that's from the main game not from the dlc so even if you didn't play the dlc yet you can enjoy it uh it it's so good uh i'm a sucker for these kind of movies but i i really recommend it the production value alone is just fucking bonkers and so good uh turns out uh, fromsoft makes good story that you have to find but that's not a surprise yeah our archival story archaeology yeah story. i, I exactly. watched one of his videos before Erd tree and i was like oh god i there's so much i don't know about these games uh, <laughs> now both on a, a how to play the games and how mm-hmm. uh, uh-huh. anything in the lore works works um, yeah yeah it's a nightmare well i'm i'm happy for you in the scarlet rot um thank hope, you hope you can get that cleared up um yeah yeah, that'd be great, folks. Sorry, uh, sorry to my uh, past partners in the last few weeks. This is Drink a lot of water. Rot. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hit the outro button and then we're gonna leave. Thank God. Is folks, it my fault that we talk so long? Jesus Christ! This guy has no respect. Ain't that can't get no respect? Uh, that's right, my sorry, impression sorry, sorry. of Jimmy Carter. Uh, peanuts, folks. folks that's uh, gonna do it for this. Uh... <laughs> great, Jimmy Carter. No, I'll be quiet stream. For uh, Zach from Save Data, go check him out. August 3rd is the Pokemon tourney over on Save Data, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Ian oh, will yeah. be live tomorrow with some f- uh, Fire Emblem, <laughs> Fallout New Vegas. Uh, oh, no, and then we'll have... I'm so sorry about your job. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have Fire Emblem on Tuesday, uh, which will probably be the second to last episode. Um, until then, I've been Will Crosby, Zach Schneider, Ian Gibson. We'll see you all next week, folks, because I love you. Sorry, I thought it was ending, but it's not. But I'm going to continue to speak because it's my God-given right. Don't forget to fuck Whatever your couch. Whatever you do, don't fuck your couch. Damn it! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>